font of truth and good and cash. There's this amazing historical significance to this piece because it's Howard Ashman and Alan Menken's first collaboration. To get to do an Alan Menken, Howard Ashman show, it's a dream thing to be able to like step into their very, very beginning work. It's the first time that these two geniuses came together and began this unbelievable collaboration that brought us so much and it's a crime that it's not happening until now, but thank God it's happening now. Oh, the railroad hasn't run through here for ages. And the factories are automated too So the pretty people leave this town at 20 As does anyone with much of an I really love 30 Miles from the Banks of the Ohio. I think it's kind of a gorgeous folk kind of song, which I get to sing. I so love 30 Miles from the Banks of the Ohio. It's, it's a, to me, I, that's a moment that is very sweet. Now there's no one 30 miles from the Ohio but the folks for whom this country doesn't grieve No, there's no one 30 miles from the Ohio But the people so plain helpless they can't leave My favorite song to perform is Cheese Nips. It's an unusual song. Uh, the first time I saw the song Breakdown, I was like, Cheese Nips? <laughs> it's a song called Cheese Nips? But then when you, when you hear the piece, when you see the piece, you see that the show is so strange and quirky and not afraid to be strange and quirky. Cheese nips, little cheese nips. Bet they dip them in craft sandwich spread. Bet they'd eat a whole Velveeta. Bet they love it. I wish I was dead. A magical moment, a marvelous moment, a moment a lawyer adores. My favorite song of mine is called Magical Moment. It's that perfect I want song where he realizes what his whole story will be for the rest of this play. I work till the moment, I lurk toward the moment, delicious and vicious as moments can be. Oh God, I adore me, you smart little normie. I won't even charge me a fee. My favorite song on the show is a song called Dear Ophelia. You can hear the beginnings of those unbelievable melodies that Alan Menken continued to write for years and years and years. It's an I want song and it's just soaring and Santino's voice is just glorious and I got to sit on stage and just listen to it every night and it was, I felt, I felt like it was a gift. Dear Ophelia, don't be frightened. Don't be sad and don't sit waiting by the phone I've got questions I need answers of my own The show can move you to tears in, an, in a second and then the next minute you are just shocked by what you've heard and you're laughing hysterically and you're still wanting to go back and go, did he really just sing that? <laughs> Down with a lunatic, down with a maniac, down with a random giving. Up with the bank account, up with the credit line, up with our style of living. Nuts to the liberal eastern establishment, up with its new replacement. Up with the draperies, up with the furniture, up with the panel basement. One of my favorite songs in the play is actually the Act One finale. It's called Since You Came to This Town. It's just that, that perfect melody sung the right way with the harmonies, and it's just so beautiful. so melodic and beautiful and it's that thing where you're like what is happening why are tears that's like we're not supposed to do that today it's so emotional it's almost hard to hear it without becoming proclaimed go love without the help of anything on earth Who's home? Look who's here. Here to loan you a dollar or to lend you an ear. If you tell me you're broke, then I'll say have no fear. Look who's here. If 
you say you need help, I'll say I volunteer. Look who's here. I think it's a lovely work, and I think it's, it's, it's got such a great heart to it. I think what's so special about this Mencken-Ashman collaboration is since it was the first, you could tell where they were headed and you're like, oh my god, these are seedlings of brilliance. You're going to hear a young musician and lyricist and hear all the promise that they're going to bring, but you're also going to hear a quirky score that fits a quirky story written by Kurt Vonnegut. We who write for theater, you know, it's not about the song, it's about the whole score. And, and God bless you, Mr. Rosewater really is truly a score from front to back that tells a story and has its own integrity as a score. And I really hope we can capture that on the, uh, on the album we're making. And I, Elliot Rosewater, your adopted dad, love you to pieces, love you till I could cry.